obviously Brockman's got the inside track, right, with Argentina? Yeah, I mean, how, how do you not root for Messi if you truly appreciate greatness? And we just saw Ovechkin shed this label of he's not a winner, his teams don't get it done in the clutch, and can't win on the biggest of big stages. And I'm actually a Maradona guy, so part of me is kind of like, well, I don't know, if Messi never wins one, then maybe Diego will be remembered as fondly as he should be for his on-field exploits. But he's such a great player. I, I would love to see him dominate this tournament. And, and, you know, get his due um, and, and, you know, have all those knocks erased and put them up there with Maradona and Pele and Christ. That said, be your best guess. Who do you think uh, hoists the cup in July, Jason? I, I kind of have a feeling that maybe this is maybe this is Argentina's year. I don't love their back line. It, it, it could, they, they may have to score four or five to win some of these matches. But, you know, that's not out of the realm of possibility. You can never bet against Germany, especially in a tournament that the proximity is there. Germany playing in Europe. Is always a safe bet, and I would love to see an African nation, you know, Nigeria, somebody, um, really have have a, a, a great run and, and maybe make it to the semifinals or something like that. Well, I mean, obviously the U.S. is not in this competition, Jason, nope. but the U.S. is in a competition for the 2026 World Cup uh, with a joint bid with Mexico and Canada, interestingly enough, um, uh, with what's going on in the world. Uh, against Morocco, what, yeah. what, what are the tea leaves? What are the tea leaves as you're reading it right now? When that announcement gets made uh, in Russia tomorrow, I hadn't even thought of that. The president has time to maybe send out a tweet and and wreck all that, right? We hate Canada now. Unbelievable. South Park come to life. Blame yes. Canada. Um, it has to. I, I mean, look, every rational part of my fiber and being says it has to happen, but every rational part of my fiber and being would have said in '86 when they played it in Mexico when the revolutions were taking place in Colombia, I would have thought that it was going to the U.S. then, and every rational part of my fiber and being would have said there's no way that Qatar with fake clouds and a bubble that doesn't exist and Russia, given what, everything that's happened there with Putin, were going to get a tournament before the U.S., but they got you know boxed out of both of those cycles. So I, until the vote goes down and everything's official, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't bet against it. But I, I think they're really only against Morocco and the way the bids were written and the initial, um, I guess, uh, sort of pedigree that they attached to the bids. The the, the, the U.S. Uh, you know, the North American bid was so far advanced from Morocco. But I guess there's still times for tweets and bribes and all that, Rich. So <laughs> I, I hope I hope we get it. I mean, it would really. I mean. Especially now with, with the state of soccer in this country, I, I think it, it would be huge to have that, that carrot dangled out there and to maybe really kick some people in the backside and, and motivate them to make up for lost time and try to make the most of that tournament. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.